so this will en uh, ensure that the link list cannot be modified by mistake but it can be operated it can be i mean if you want you can uh, use the link list in a proper way through this suitable interface that you provide uh, that you provide to the user so this is one point uh, to be noted and another important observation is say you see this head is anyway made private so once this is private you cannot uh, get into the starting or the beginning or the head node of the link list so no matter what the other link list nodes are or inside the contents even if they are public can you access it say you have got a you have got a building i mean maybe two storied building you have got okay it has it, it is uh, in, enclosed by a nice say boundary wall and there is a gate and this gate is locked right the gate is locked it's under lock and key so even though you can see that uh, i mean from other other buildings you can see what is in your terrace and all can anybody jump into the terrace i mean is it possible no so, sir is no, access sir. to the terrace is it public so it is something like that. these parts these are made public so it's just like anything that you can see it's fine it appears to be public but it is not because you you cannot jump into the terrace you have to go through this entry here this head node is made private and once the head node is made private the contents of the head node or the contents of the nodes pointed by head node by all means they will be made uh, uh, private got the point so the design has has got as such no flaws and this is a perfect design because you cannot make any of them private we don't have interface other than construction and destruction here so the it is just a kind of dummy class it creates an object for use by some other class classes that it, uh, that will be using it in isolation it has not got any importance okay so it's just a component that others uses is that part fine Yes. So, what about the access permissions of these methods? Display, add, search, and all this. Public. Public, sir. So these are public because I I want all of these to be used. Sometimes you may think that okay, you are not allowed not allowed to search an item. You can go for delete, which in turn will be searching and then deleting or add. So that is up to you. uh public or public because this is merely construction and destruction i mean destructor and all this so this is the interface the interface of the methods so this is more or less so i took some time to discuss about the interface and the uh, the design because that is important and the rest of the code i think it is pretty simple uh, <clears throat> to write now what is what uh, content that uh, i mean when you when you create a this node a single node so what are the type of construction that you would expect i have to write here public because otherwise it will be treated by default private uh, private right so here i have to write int i may call it as info i may call it as extra which will be reserved for other purposes we'll see in some of our applications it will be required and the other other one is a pointer node uh, it's a pointer so i call it as a link the name of the field so link is a pointer to nodes of same type so this is the pub these are all tagged as public and then i write the constructor so in the constructor what what do you expect to be passed while constructing a particular box all the three fields maybe so what is the in the extreme uh, case extra very uh, member sir what is the extra member yeah so extra as i mentioned i i, I just uh, want to reserve it for other use because link list just adding link list deleting link list these are all done in your uh, earlier semester right Yes, so that does not make sense so once the linked list class is ready with a proper interface we would like to have 
some other use of linked list so when you have when you have say hashing hashing you know hashing yes sir how many so i think it has been taught in your data structure class has it been covered in the data structure class hello no sir it was not covered it was not covered but it was there in the syllabus Okay, then there is no point of discussing right now. I'll take uh, I'll discuss about the hash data structures and also implementation. So you will see that when we when we think of a hash table, we can uh, define it in terms of say hash table composes of uh, it is composed of or it contains several linked lists. That is one way of implementing hashing. Okay, so. This linked list class will be used and and during hashing. Sometimes uh, we may require this particular field to store some information. That's a point. That's why why I store it as an extra. You may remove it also. So just having a linked list is of no use, right? Having a stack is of no use. Just just to have the practice. But these are used in other uh, useful applications. So one assignment that I'll give uh, uh, is the role sheet, as I mentioned, the role sheet containing the names and the role numbers. And you have to prepare a hash table corresponding to that role sheet, so that whenever I give a role, uh, um, uh, if you type your uh, say if you type your role number or some role number, say role number forty five, what is the name? So it immediately returns the name from that hash table. And why hash table is important? Hash table performs searching much faster than the conventional uh, searching techniques. So conventional means sequential search. You all know it's very trivial. What is the uh, worst case complexity? So linear. Linear. I mean, average case complexity is also linear, like n by two. On an average, you have to search half of the list. What is a better structure compared to that uh, linear search? What is the better algorithm? So self balancing binary search. Mm -hmm. Binary search is self balancing. So if we assume that it is height balanced. So, what is the average case complexity for that? Sir, uh, height of the binary. Two. Uh, height. What? So, with n number of nodes, what will be the typical height? Log n base two, right? Yes. Sir. So it will log n. But in hashing, do you know what is the average case? Uh, what is the average case complexity in ideal hash table? So it generally depends on the functions we are using. For. Functions we are using generally depends on the distribution of the values and all this. But typically, it attempts the I mean the hypothetically or theoretically it attempts to have a complexity, a search complexity of big O of one. Do you know what is big O of one? Big O of log n base two, big O of n. These these are fine. Big O of one means what? Linear time. Uh, so what is linear time? Constant time. Uh, so if it is linear time linear time does it mean that in one shot you get it in one search big of one does it mean in one particular so you if you search in one node you will get it you don't have to search for even two nodes also no, sir. what is the interpretation of log of one uh, and big of one sir uh, all for all the cases it requires a constant number of iteration that is it doesn't change uh, along yes. with the size of the input yes so constant means it may be that whatever may be your input roll number it will always require searching say five nodes that's all so five is five or five to six that much so five to six is required if the the strength of the class is 30 the five to six is required if the strength of the class is 90 or 100 even if it is 200 even if it is 1000 it is always five to six okay so uh, the it's not that you have to search you can search it immediately one after just one shot but the number of probes that you require is not dependent on the uh, size of the input as it increases it remains constant so that's why it is big o of one so hashing is a search algorithm which provides you a search time big o of one and that is a uh, that is a nice thing in it and that's why it is used in many real real world examples and all but the basic challenge is you need to probably be aware of like uh, what uh, what what is the distribution of the data variables i mean in case of roll numbers it is all evenly distributed but sometimes 
if you are trying to say for example if you, instead of having the roll number stored what we are trying to store the phone numbers of the students okay and then so basically i would like to store based on the phone number but once i retrieve the uh, uh, that the phone number is stored i can retrieve the entire record of the student so you you basically have to know the how the values appear and all this through which you hash so we'll we'll discuss it in later but the point is using hashing so when you try to implement hashing we'll be implementing hashing uh, as if it is a collection of linked lists that's all so you don't have to write so much of code because uh, we have already written a, a linked list class so you can just uh, include the linked list class the header file and we can just call those methods and it will work so that is the idea of how we can reuse the class definitions to create new classes or to modify the existing ones so that is the objective so now can you quickly tell me that what will be the so is that part clear so this extra let us uh, assume that okay it will be required somewhere else but it is not mandatory so what values i should pass here how many how many input arguments is required to create a box hello how many let us assume that i i require all of them so info and then node asterisk l and then uh, int extra uh, say uh, say let it be say x or say e okay so this is uh, this is say v and this is say now so it will accept basically three input arguments now sometimes you may be creating a node without specifying any value so in that case what what will be the fate of it so it will be zero and it will be null right but if you specify something so if you just call node like this it will be like so it will be something like this if you create a, if you create a box maybe by specifying the value but this will be null this is also possible so in that case i would expect something like this this call should be supported or i may be interested in finding out uh, say having something like this this points to this node which already is there right so here i will be passing 9 comma the address of this node okay some other node maybe so something like uh, some values will be passed here say p so p is a which where p is a node pointer so if i would like to support all these three what should i do do i need to write three constructors for this in the last class we discussed about it do i need to write three constructors to support each of this no no sir no sir you can go for having a single constructor default. and add some default arguments to each of them right because i know if an an extra in this case we don't uh, consider the extra so extra will be always be default zero so this default is so i put the extra at the end because i will be most mostly i will be uh, you know uh, what is the most probable input it will be the this info info information so that's why i put it first because the rule says that you should have the non default values first followed by the default values right default arguments so that is how they appear so next comes this. so v should be say zero if you don't specify it will be adding zero if you don't specify it will be adding null and if you don't specify it will be adding zero right so then it means info is v then extra is e and then link is l right so writing you see writing this single constructor will serve such creations is that fine hello and if we if we would like to insert some node insert in the link list what do i do while we while we try to insert so i would probably call i mean dynamically if i if i would like to allocate a node so new node i can just write like this new node 
so new node means a box will be allocated in the heap with default values 0 null and 0 if i would like to create a box with value 12 i can do like this and i can then store it in a node pointer or whatever i want okay so this supports dynamic allocation also of all these three types is that okay yes sir so now the destructor in this case as i mentioned it is a good practice to always add a destructor so will the destructor carry any meaning here did you do any dynamic allocation here in the constructor no sir so is it required no sir so it is trivially added so here you can just write uh, some comment like see out it's a destructor of the node but still it is better to have it and here you write see out node constructor okay and you might have a display function just to uh, know that if you require you can verify the contents of a node once got created and then probably it will not be required anymore okay now i am writing the contents here itself but again the better practice is because it's a very small class but the good practice is you should be defining the methods details of the methods outside the class and just writing the prototype here okay so display also you can write okay just to uh, complete it so what will be the linked list class sll what we have decided we have to have a head node a a box object named head right so it is like this see this is not a pointer because here this head is actually having a link which will be pointing to the first node of the linked list Uh, of the chain of nodes and it will also store in addition to that the count of the number of boxes to which it points to right so this we don't have a pointer to a node to the first node separately so we have just uh, so this is just one way of implementing you could have done it using a pointer variable also right so this is basically a node object it's not a node pointer it's a node object how it is allocated it is static it is statically allocated so once you create a linked list every time in the stack segment if it is not uh, global or static it will be created uh, it will be creating the space for one box in the stack if it is static or if it is uh, global it will be allocated from the data segment is that part fine yes sir so the rest of it will be public right because what we decided is all of this will be public and there are no more members also data members to be declared so everything will be public so the first thing is sll okay so another point is do i need a copy constructor here is it required we have got a you see we have got a pointer member although we have got a pointer member but we are not allocating space here so probably keeping that in mind we can skip creating a copy constructor because it's of no use as such or or i mean maybe the logic will be uh, uh, this is not a better good logic uh, because sometimes uh, you might create a copy of a node uh, into an into some other node so the better logic can be like even if we need to do that so it will be done as a part of the data structure which uses the node so rather that will be taken care of by that data structure so in isolation we will not be interested in creating a node from another node so that let, let us assume that and even if we do that so i mean that that probably not be allowed so that can be the good logic so you don't uh, make it heavy this is as simple as just creating space for a box and initializing the values as you pass when you create it initializing so in the sll which is a constructor of this linked list type what do you think how many arguments should you pass
how many arguments do you need to pass so once you create it you know that this box is created statically so you may call sll so you you may call something like this uh, sll maybe s1 if you write something like this then that means what it will be calling sll without any arguments what do you expect then so the head node corresponding to the sll uh, sorry s1 will be pointing to null and this will be zero that means the head contains no nodes and it is pointing to null because there is nothing there right but i would probably expect something like this also sometimes s1 and say i i specify here some node value so uh, say or, or or you may think it, uh, think of it something like this say so this is a head which points to some nodes now i would like to create another linked list which will be having which says of type white type is a head node and the head node should be pointing to this initially okay so this will be pointing to this one and if it is two so it will be two but it will be not be pointing to like this right because if this is the case there will be again a problem so if you delete this one this will be getting affected so i would like to have a linked list maybe that uh, i would like to cut it so you can think of like this is cut off so i have cut these two nodes and i would like to create a separate linked list using these two nodes you can you can think of like that so i would like to have uh, while i am creating a linked list this can be a simple one but i can also have something like this situation where i've got a chain of nodes which have cut from an existing linked list and i would like to you know create a new list out of it are you getting my point yes sir so here i just uh, here i just specify some node information that's all so from that node onwards so if you can link the head to that node the entire entire chain will be added in that chain and you have to update the header field name uh both these options available so what do i do here what should be the interface for this singly linked list so in this case in the second case i have to pass the address of a of another box right so i can write here node asterisk l if i don't have it i can put it null and i can have something for the extra field okay so this anyway will be ignored say for the time being so if i put this so what values will be initialized here how to initialize it so first of all what i do the heads the head nodes info field and the head nodes link field right head nodes info field and the link field should be initialized what should i do what should i write hello are you getting my point so head dot info equals to zero hmm hello i am not getting so head dot info equals to zero head dot info so why i write here dot because head you see head is just like a object variable right it's a it's a object it's a variable kind of thing it's a object instance so if i know the 
name of the object, uh, the variable name, I can just write dot info because head is not a pointer. That's why I don't give a arrow here. Head dot info, what is the value? Trivial is zero. Then head dot link, what is the trivial value? It is just let it be L. So if it is null, it will be stored. If it is non null also, it will be stored. So now what next? Head dot extra. Also, it will be E. If you have provided something, uh, we really don't know how we may be using it in future in some other applications. But if it is so, we can we can just add it here. Now, what is left is now this L may be non-null, right? So if L is non-null, that means you are trying to create a new node, a link, a new linked list out of some cutoff portion from some existing linked list. So so already the nodes, the chain, few few nodes uh, chained together is already there. You just try to uh, create a new identity of a linked list out of it. So they are they, they just want to be isolated and independent, independently known as linked list, right? That. So all that you have to do is once you have done that, so this gets automatically connected. So that maybe it, it has been already disconnected here. So it gets connected, but you have to update this count value. Okay, this. Uh, so this count value, so, so this info value, so the info value need to be non-zero in this case. So what do I do here? Int count equals to one because any case it will be one at least. Then node asterisk t equals to l. So t is another pointer which points to this node because l is actually pointing to the first node. Then while I have to just count. So while uh, what is the condition? While t of link is not equal to null, that means this value is not null. Or so I keep on checking that. So if this is not null, then I consider t of t link. So if it is not null, I just so I keep on doing that, and every time I am incrementing count. So I am just counting how many nodes I skip. Till I get to the end of the chain, which I would like to create as a new new link list. Once it is done, what I do? So once it is done, I have traversed so the chain, the portion that that I would like to connect to this head. What I need to do now, before I end this uh, constructor, the head dot info equals to c. Head so head dot info gets modified. To to That's all. Okay, so this part. So the only point you should note that this is not. So this portion is not shared by both of these two. So this is basically. We assume that this is basically cut off. Otherwise, it will create complications, and we really. So this is basically null. So you are trying to you probably have cut off this part, and you would like to have this identified as a new linked list. So this was one linked list, and this is another linked list. So I have. I just want to make this provision. But you, if you want to make it simple, you, you may not. You may not just have it. So you can just remove this part and just say that okay, this is. So this is good enough. So, do we need a copy constructor in case of linked lists? Do we need a copy constructor? Well, while I'm creating no. uh, linked list, say if I would like to write S2, I would like to have this. Or I would like to have S3 equals to S1. These are quite valid, right? I would like to have a linked list created exactly as a clone of some existing linked list, right? Hello. Yes, sir. So in this case, yes, to have it done, do I need copy constructor? Do I need to? No, is sir. Is it mandatory to write a copy constructor here? No, sir. Is it mandatory to write a copy constructor in such a case? Yes, sir, because the pointer variable should be copied, so uh, it won't create an exact copy. Rather, uh, changes inflicted in one of the linked list would be um, um, visible on the other. So uh, we need to yes, create. So a... See the case. Say if this is this is say the first linked list, right? This is S one. This is a linked list S one. Okay. So this is a three. Now I would like to create S three out of it. S three I would like to create. So S three 
creation ht means creation of the header so this is this automatically comes the header part so this header comes i mean the head node head node comes and within the constructor you say that uh, i'm just so if you allow bitwise copying then what it means this value is copied here so this points to this this value is copied here this is 3 this is fine so that way s3 is constructed so if you don't write a copy constructor this much will be done will you be happy with this no sir so if if s3 somehow deletes the first node so that definitely in a proper way if it deletes the first node you see what is going to happen if it deletes the first node it will be pointing to this node and probably it will be disposing of this node so now if s1 wants to travel uh, traverse through that linked list structure so this is a valid address it was a valid address because now it is pointing to some garbage right and it will immediately give a segmentation fault what the point so to have these two supported what we need is a copy constructor right is that clear yes sir so i don't have a copy yes. constructor required here because i don't use these nodes in isolation but whenever i have a nodes uh, these nodes as a part of some other data structures there i would uh, consider whether i need a copy constructor or not depending on probably i'll be requiring it because we have uh, so you see uh, there is use of pointer but that is not explicit here so it's a part of the head uh, structure itself so you if you just just looking looking into it you don't say see any pointers but still you require a copy constructor so it's up to you uh, to visualize that whether it is required or not otherwise uh if you are passing the value of it say you are calling you are writing a function where you are passing one linked list to the function by call by value so it will be a disaster in that case because when that local uh, local linked list object local to the function goes out of the scope so it destroys everything because a destructor destroys everything out of it okay so even though you don't you say that i don't need this but whenever you write a function a normal function in the main a global function if you pass ever pass a linked list object by value you you basically invite problems and you you are ex, you are expecting a, a segmentation fault is that clear yes sir so this copy constructor you have to write i think you will be able to write what it means the purpose of the copy constructor is known so i just want to conclude with the destructor so destructor there is no argument so how the destructor will look like the code for the destructor so when you destroy the linked list you see you have to destroy basically uh, one by one so so this is a linked list this blue one if i would like to uh, have i mean if the this linked list object this object means this is uh, this object so this object actually points to the whole so if this object goes out of the scope what you need to make sure that before it gets off or before it gets disposed of from the structure uh, from the stack you have to make sure that all it points to the nodes are thereby disposed before it gets disposed are you getting my point yes sir so there is no garbage left so what should i do here node t then uh, i can give some comment destructor of the sln then i can have a for loop i may not traverse it using a while loop i can use just use a for loop i equals to 0 i less than what should i write how many nodes will be there head info right i plus plus is that okay yes sir so i have to traverse one by one and then the first step is t is head head dot link so the first node is pointed by head where it where its address is stored in the head in the link field of the head that i store in t so now <coughs> so this was head and this is a link of head so it stores so i would expect t another just pointer t is a node pointer 
once i do this so t also points to this so what am I, what is my objective so if there are few some other nodes also so t will be pointing to this and then next step will be that this will be pointing to this one so head dot link will be head link link is that okay so head link should be modified so so this is the first step step a this is this is a what is the b b is this one so head link should be now once i have i have got this address stored in pointer t i'll be pointing head to this one so head link should be storing this value so where it is stored the address of this node it is stored here right so this is head link link so head link means this one its link so here here we have the address of this node so this content will be stored here once this is done that means instead of doing this it will be pointing to this one right so these are all known to you just uh, i'm just repeating once again so delete now once it is done now what i do once in the second step in the step b it is done then i just call so delete, delete. delete. Huh? i'll be disposing mm. this part so delete t will it work what should i do this side should work because it's not an add hmm? <clears throat> It's not an array, but it's a block allocation, right? You have allocated the whole block, whole block, so you should you should be doing this one, right? Okay. Because we know that as per the linked list is concerned, we never allocated these. Uh, so this is only static. So this is static allocation, but rest of it is always dynamic. So anything that you have dynamically allocated, you can deallocate by calling delete. That is what it means. And if it's a block of space, you have to call uh, using this parenthesis. Okay, so that is that is basically the destructor. and i think the rest of the the beginning display search delete node these things you can do right so at the beginning what we what we expect at beginning we'll have so uh, so display is void void at beginning we'll have the index you pass the value that you want to add and in any case it will be added so it will be void the search will be index and it will be returning either 0 or 1 if it is found or not delete is intx it will search and if it is successful or not it will be either one it will if it is successfully found and deleted if it is uh, not done like that it will be returning zero that's all so the rest of the methods you can do right can you write that rest of it yes this is what i did you see i just scroll it down for a couple of minutes so this is the node node class you see the node class is written here and then i define the different members of the node class destructor constructor and the display although i don't use the display explicitly and then this is sll class right so we have got the node head it's private and the rest are all public so it's sll and there's a uh, copy constructor also written and this is the destructor at beginning display search delete node and these are the codes for it okay so this is the constructor as you can see here and i made the provision if you want to simplify it you may skip this also so this is the this is a copy constructor you see copy constructor signature is always it's a fixed signature it should be constant reference to it's a reference to a uh, object which should be treated as constant so it's like this that is a signature typical signature so this is how it works sll is a destructor okay so this much we have written at beginning is too trivial because you don't have to traverse through the whole node display is also trivial using a for loop we can do because using a we are having a head counter i mean uh, number of node counter in head info and sll search this is also simple 
and delete node you can call search and then delete or you can have a searching here itself and delete if it is found if it is found and delete it will be returning one if it is not it will be returning zero this is how it is working so here i have you see uh, just to make sure that the node class works i have created uh, I, I don't know whether you can see it or not I, I have created the node objects isolated node objects i have called uh, i've used dynamic allocation for creating nodes with different options and see that they are working okay and displayed those values so before i have written uh, before i have written the sll class i have make, i have made sure that these these things work and then here i am creating one by one the linked list object so this is one linked list object we are adding in the beginning and displaying and all this this goes on but there is a small bug that i have to figure out so i just wrote it before the class so that's why it's still giving some segmentation fault okay so it so this is how how we can display it so this is a node count five nodes this is a header node it is displayed in this form and these are the actual uh, the nodes the info part that is shown here okay this is the end of it so i have so i have denoted in some symbol but again i mean there are a few bugs i have to figure out where i just wrote it before the class i'll i'll make the changes any question hello sir uh, i had a doubt from the previous examination uh, regarding one pointer declaration so uh, mm. will you tell it now yes what what was the doubt yes sir uh, so the pointer declaration was something like this uh, uh, sir will you write it once so that uh... hmm yes uh, sir int Uh, then open bracket uh, star p2 uh, p uh, star p uh, square bracket uh, cl open uh, two and close square bracket uh, and then score uh, uh, yes and uh, again uh, open square bracket two and close square bracket. okay this one ha uh, yes hmm. so how to evaluate this kind of uh, declaration like uh, we were made to figure out uh, what would be the type of pointer p so how how does the compiler actually uh, decides what kind of pointer now so uh, how do you read this what is p what is p how how i read this uh, pointer first of all this is a con this is a pointer variable there is no mention of constant right p is a pointer variable of what type yes so p is you see p is a array of it's a array of two pointer variables right first thing is it's a array of two pointer variables because you have to read this first because of this parenthesis you are forced to read this first of what it's pointing to it's pointing to integer arrays of two elements so it's basically a array of two pointers each pointing to so it's basically what it's a array of two pointers of this type each pointing to integer integer arrays of size 2 exactly 2 It's, it should be exactly two. This is what it means. Hello, sir. Just repeat it one second, sir. Uh, couldn't get. No, so he, you should you should first first read this portion. First read this portion. So P is a pointer, but it's a it's two written here. So it's a P is a array of two pointers. Array. P is a array of okay. two point. P is a uh, it's a array of two pointers. pointing to what pointing to this type of elements what are the elements integer array, array of so integer arrays of size 2 okay is that fine mm, yes sir. any other uh, i mean uh, is there anybody who disagree with this anybody who di disagrees with this what i say this is what i explained in the class also any question sir i have a doubt from linked list part ha uh. sir 
while oh, on cat clear your doubt fast because uh, from 12 onwards i have got another class and they will be waiting anyway they just let me see if i can clear the doubt right now itself sir mm. while concatenating to list sir we mm. will uh, create a third list or we will add the uh, second list after first list so concatenation concatenation means string concatenation also so you basically uh, it depends how you interpret if you think that uh, like it is up to you how you interpret that if you have got linked list 1 and 2 and you are trying to have a third linked list having both uh, i mean which is a copy of 1 and 3 uh, 1 and 2 then it is fine otherwise you can think of like i have got s1 and s2 and i would like to have s2 added to s1 so it is up to you how you interpret and maybe the problem given will specify what exactly you should be doing sir so then in second case a destructor will be called for two times like in first linked list it will also delete the nodes of second list linked list that were concatenated yes definitely uh, but the point is in this case you probably will not be actually uh, destroying the whole thing and then again so you are destroying the nodes and you are creating another clones of it so so what's the point of it rather you should be uh, first you know cutting the part of cutting the part from the linked link list one so first of all you create a head node for the for the uh, for the concatenated list say for example and there uh, you just uh, um, what you do is just like one single line so uh, s1's head link you first assign it to s3's head link right so basically the the yes. resultant link list is pointing to the first node of the first link list that's all and then you traverse through that there is a for loop that where you traverse through the entire linked list the list of nodes okay and then when you reach to the end you basically that nodes link you you just copy the second linked list head node link information so that is what concatenation means and after that what you do that linked list once head link is set to null linked list two's head link is set to null once you do this then even if the destructor is called the both the linked lists are not having any nodes so you don't get so the linked list 3 is not getting affected now yes sir that was i was asking sir because uh, there was a core was uh, like code was again and again terminating because of this like two times uh, del- uh, destructor will be called for same thing na so that is what i mean so it is up to you how you ma- how, how you are managing it and it is also depending on uh, what it is so if you are asked to retain so you concatenate so basically uh, so the interpretation may be that you create a new list which contains the contents of both the list 1 and list 2 keeping the original list intact that can be one possibility other another is you create a separate link list concatenated link list and you basically destroy the previous two so accordingly you have to do so if you have to destroy you can just copy those parts and then you set it to null in case if, if they are destroyed that is not affecting the new list that you have uh, created through the concatenation okay sir any question so now the link list i think many of you have already written it but i would expect a design something like this i mean there can be many designs you can create a link list just having a pointer declared and uh, yeah but the first the important thing is you should have a node class separately defined and you should have a linked list class which will be just composed of the uh, node information a head node or a node pointer or whatever so that is th- that is important to note and you should be making those as public and this is private so th- this is the main thing that i would like to highlight and the rest of the things like the search begin and all this is a very trivial you can always write it i know because these are taught in the previous semester also so try to get the essence of it it's not that you have to write the whole but how you design that is important and you design in such a way that it will be useful for implementing hashing also those who don't know hashing i'll have a um, outline of what hashing means and then we'll take it up and you will see that how fast it can work i mean how fast you write a hash code just if you have got a linked list class header uh, i mean header no uh, header file is that fine yes sir hmm okay today in the evening i don't know uh, if obijit takes a class it's fine otherwise i'll take the class but there will be the class so 
just try to call me uh, obhishek is it there so actually uh, of uh, for uh, students of session z we have a exam ও এখন আছে আবার নাও নো নো ইভনিং ওকে ইন দ্য ইভনিং ইয়াস স্যার ওয়াই বাট ইউ হ্যাভ গট আ স্কেডিউল ক্লাস সো ইউ ক্যান্ট হ্যাভ আ एग्जाम স্কেডিউলড ইন দ্য ইন দ্য নরমাল ক্লাস বিকজ एग्जाम দ্যাট স্যার দ্য एग्जाम উইল স্টার্ট फ्रॉम 6 পিএম সো ক্যান উই ক্যান্সেল দ্য ক্লাস ফর টুডে আই ওয়াজ ফিলিং সামথিং লাইক দ্যাট See the problem is, uh, uh, I don't have any uh, problem in uh, dissolving the class, but there are few things you should note that uh, even though it is online and mostly we are not losing classes these days because otherwise uh, there are a lot of breaks where the classes goes off in the physical in in the physical version, but we have got a lot of syllabus yet to complete. and i would not like i would not prefer to uh, you know have the classes go go off that is one point and i'll be in leave for at least 10 days from 16th 16 to 26th this is one point so they are in, uh, during those days i think uh, obhijit and uh, dipanita they will take the class they will continue but before i leave i would like to cover uh, my, my target is to cover up to say templates so that you will have a sufficient volume of uh, coding uh, exercises Uh, to continue with you so let's see i mean if you are not eager to i cannot force you because we have already having some extra classes and from 8 onwards i have got the responsibility of the uh, hod of the department so you know the things are, will not be under my control so sometimes there will be some emergency meetings called and the entire classes will be disrupted so anyway discuss and uh, let the cr call me if you can have the class it is good otherwise i am not going to force you okay okay sir uh, we will uh, tell obhishek to call you sir hmm obhishek ki kore oke nei keno mane sir achi achi sir oi mic kaaj korchilo na tokhon mic kaaj korchilo na tomake to pai tomake jokhoni boli tumi bolo je nei when he is always there in the phone i mean uh, when i call him he definitely <laughs> promptly answers and he is quite a good cr i don't have any um, objections but in the class i never find <laughs> in most of the aragno holo ami class ni ki tumi bolcho je sir kothay achen ki jani na ki hoy thik ache dekho okay thank you thank you sir